and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're doing a market talk. We just got a ton of new content, so I feel like this is the perfect time to do one. We got the Eli Manning tribute. We got Aaron Rodgers, playoff legend. We got Von Miller, playoff legend. And we got the Mutt Rewards. And quite a few things the last few days. So, I feel like this is the best time to do a market talk. Because the market's probably quite, probably affected a decent amount. The cars themselves are pretty expensive for the time being. Eli's actually a little bit lower initially than I thought he was. But, he is a pocket passer, so I couldn't expect him to be much higher anyways. But... Quite honestly, Aaron Rodgers and Von Miller are super expensive. Now, they're probably just that expensive because they just came out. Not a lot of them yet on the block. People probably want to try them out. Eventually, they're going to come down probably around like the 400-500K range for their overall. They're way too high right now. But Aaron Rodgers isn't even that overpowered to where I think he can even be justified at that. Once either a Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson kind of comes out in the next week or so, they'll be sent right back down. So I think the market should be affected, though. People probably open a lot of legend packs. When there's good stuff in packs, especially like three good things like that and the McAllister, Things are bound to go down. So let's go check out the market, guys. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys real quick. We did hit 18,000 subscribers yesterday. Thank you guys so much for that. You guys went crazy yesterday. Channel's back on track. Thank you guys for that. Comment down below what you thought of today's content drops, if you guys haven't already. Kind of curious to see what you guys think. Let me know what you guys have been doing with your coins lately. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 300 likes, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. Now, we'll save Rogers for the end. We'll get to that pricing towards the end. I start the 88 indicators. Now, I think the 88 indicators, guys, it's going to have to go down. I don't think that's going to apply anymore. Because it's oversaturated, oversaturated, and with new sets coming out in the game that give usage for older cards, it's getting increasingly hard for these cards to stay on pace with everything else. Like the 88s were especially expensive when Team of the Year first dropped, which definitely was something that we had to stay wary of. Because think about it, if you want to buy training, it was actually better to buy higher overall cards than the lower ones for now because the lower ones were more expensive for the Team of the Year sets that were in the game. Now, it's over. So, these are 29K, actually, which isn't bad. They actually have went down quite a bit. So, maybe maybe the market is down right now. Maybe we can use 26K. That is super cheap for an ADA right now. Honestly, like, budget budgety teams. You can probably build a pretty solid squad right now. I'm going to keep this at Legend Filter, probably. Like, go back into 90s and 91s, and then check out the Legend Filter. So, 90s looking like that are 50K. We always got to filter it out now, though, because it's definitely oversaturated. Really bad. 49K, it's a little bit better. 49, 49, 52. You obviously can filter this out by veterans, flashbacks, legends. I like to filter by things that come out that day, so like legends per se. A solid filter whenever it's Saturday because people are buying packs, so legends are probably down slightly, slightly. Let's come to the 92s to 93s, and let's see what we're working with here. So 81K for a 92 overall legend. That is crazy. Super cheap. Jordan Gross, super cheap. You can make a really solid squad at this point in the game for pretty cheap. If you have a bunch of coins, you've been waiting on, you've been sitting on coins. Probably build a pretty squad. I mean, can it compete online in Weekend League? Not entirely sure, because even my team struggles to compete in Weekend League. And my team's not your typical team. It's not great by any means. It's not even, like, above average anymore. I'm probably, like, an average team at this point. Very well chemmed up. Very well built. Prioritized. But my team's not even that competitive anymore. Let's check out the series redux. I'm kind of curious to see how these have taken, because with the increased pack odds and stuff, and the last, you know, as the series have increased, a lot of the series redux have went down in value. I find it kind of funny how Aaron Rodgers is this cheap. He cannot be put into the power-up set. People probably, I don't know if people thought that, but I find it weird that today when he did drop, his price went down even more. If people already knew, they probably shouldn't have been that high to begin with. Let's check out. Okay, so remember, the last month, 10 cards to not get a card yet are Julius Peppers and Joe Thomas. Those are two of the last. I don't know if there's a third in there. There might be. But Julius Peppers and Joe Thomas have not gotten their card. And Palomalu. So a decent idea to invest in them. Probably decent. At, at minimum, I'd say it's a decent investment, especially the cheaper ones like... Julius Peppers and Joe Thomas. Pro Pal Miles is a little bit expensive. Up to you guys on that front. I don't think it's a bad investment at all, considering they're going to probably get a card. They went through a stretch of giving like seven straight cards, smut tank cards upgrades. They haven't done them in quite a while, but I can't imagine that we stay away from them for that much longer. It seems like the trend has been giving them upgrades as the year goes on. Now, into here. Let's put these out by Super Bowl. I'm kind of curious to see what the Super Bowl is. Actually, let's do Legends first. See what the cheapest prices are and then compare them to what the Super Bowls are going at right now. So, Legends. It's looking like 181. Okay, so, well, really 190. So, 190 for Legends. Not bad. Decent value. Mon Green, little budget piece running back. Not that budgety, though. I mean, at that price, I'd still rather get Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is still the best running back in the game, more than likely. Let's go down to Super Bowl. Let's check these out. Now, what do I recommend right now? Honestly, Super Bowl stuff is cheap. I can't even say don't buy it. It's super cheap. 
It can't go. It's going to go down probably a little bit more, but not by much. If you want to pick up any of the Super Bowl cards, not a bad idea. Steve Young, super cheap. Not a bad, cheaper quarterback with amazing cams and abilities. Really up to you guys. Now, what am I saving my coins for? I mean, I'm waiting for better Super Bowl content. The first drop was good. Steve Young and Timberman are kind of the only things I want. But Timberman, I'm going to take as my Nat card. And then Steve Young, I'm not going to take him because obviously I'm waiting for either Mahomes or Lamar Jackson, which we're getting one or the other. I think Mahomes, well, Lamar's probably guaranteed with MVP. So I'm waiting for either that or a potential Super Bowl type Mahomes card. Now, for all you guys saying Mahomes isn't getting a Super Bowl card, that's not true. If he doesn't win MVP, they probably give him, I mean, like, I just don't, I don't envision EA not giving Mahomes a card. And he has to get a card, in my opinion. Now, beyond that, they're Super Bowl present, right? Which will give us either like a Kelsey, a Garoppolo, a Hill, a Sammy Watkins, a Fred Warner, a Sherman, um, a Raheem Mustard. A lot of cards. So I'm going to be waiting for that drop first. See what that is first. I kind of want some modern day players. And then I think they'll be probably giving us some Super Bowl pass, maybe LTDs, some present LTDs, potentially. And there's also a third part to the promo. So I'm going to be waiting a little bit, see what's going to come out first. Because I really, I wasn't a fan of this first drop. I really can't use any cards in here besides Timberman. And then Young, I really don't plan to use. So I'm going to wait as far as that. And then my coins, I'm going to be saving for the Lamar Jackson, the Super Bowl present, and whatever the third part is. And then as well, beyond that, we have the Combine probably coming a month or so after that. So, I mean, but that's like the end game, man. Like, I truthfully think when it comes to buying stuff, like I'll probably buy a lot of my stuff. I'm probably going to buy a lot of the Honors cards and a decent amount of the playoff Super Bowl cards. And you get, a lot of those are going to be end game. Maybe pick up some Team of the Years. But that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. I'll show you the Team of the Year cards because I haven't really looked at them too much. I did miss the week that they dropped. I was away on my trip, so I feel like I just kind of like skimmed right over the Team of the Year program. Treyway for 217 is a great price, although I don't think many people actually punt on Madden Open Team anymore. Not really bad. I do want Zane Gonzalez really bad. I'm not going to lie. That kick power is looking really useful. Like if you're playing that two-minute drill house rules, if you literally, I can get into the 50 like in two passes, but there's no timeout. So you take you take a field goal and you pretty much won. You can just chew clock and kick every time with Zane Gonzalez. Really not a bad idea at all. McCall Hardman, I don't think he should be this expensive. He's going to drop in value and get like a week. Like, no, no joke. If they're probably going to drop a Tyree kill for sure during the uh, Super Bowl. So you're going to get a 99 speed receiver that can be powered up and he's going to be better than this receiver. I really don't think this Bacol Harbin is going to last much longer. Obviously, he's really good right now. That speed with catching and route running, pretty insane. But it's not going to last much longer for all you guys that were holding on to him. I don't think that's the best idea. Now, I see the 96 team of the year in 97s. Okay, so you guys got a little cheap here. What is going to stay up probably is just going to be Aaron Donald and Russell Wilson. Those are the two best ones. And Kittle. I definitely want Kittle. In my opinion, guys, as far as Team of the Year goes, with it being towards the end, we're going to Super Bowl now. I would recommend if you guys still have any cards to pick up, you, all you really need is Donald. Donald and Kittle. Pick up those two guys from the promo and you're pretty set. Either of those two guys are looking solid. I definitely want Aaron Donald, though. I'm definitely going to buy him at some point. I'm going to let him get a little bit cheaper because if Super Bowl drops some banger stuff or some new ends, I could definitely pick up Aaron Donald on the discounts. kind of what I'm waiting for here. Now, let's check the filter as a whole, and then let's check out Eli Manning and the Rodgers. All right. Yeah, it's going to be flooded with Team of the Year stuff. Steve Young is super cheap, not going to lie. Probably the set's really cheap now, too. The set's probably not as profitable as it was yesterday, but still can be. I have to sell my Vic before it gets too late. And then, yeah, it's pretty much it for this. Eli's going for $1 million, it looks like. Let me filter that. Let me filter out Von Miller, and then I'm going to filter out... Actually, I'm going to do Eli first, then I'm going to check out Von Miller, then I'm going to check out Rodgers. I'll let you guys know if I think any of them are worth picking up now. Eli, for a Giants team team, you have to pick them up. Going to be an endgame quarterback on the Giants team. Unless they give Danny Dimes another card, which I don't know if they will. Eli's looking solid. Really a great pocket passer, quite honestly. The only issue with Eli is going to be that he's not mobile. So I don't, I don't recommend him as your God Squad team, like your main quarterback. But if you have the coins, you're making a theme team. Definitely a great quarterback for a theme team. Now, as far as Von Miller goes, way too expensive. Von Miller, at best, is a 400k card. That's what I'll pay for him. Nothing more. He's a significant upgrade over the other Von Miller I still have. Definitely is. As far as pass rushing goes, he's not a crazy ton better. He's not that far away better. It's more about the athleticism that you're paying for, in my opinion. But I don't think he's a 700K card. I think that's more like people are just going hype right now. They're going crazy for him. And you know what else it is? They really haven't had that many good left outside linebackers this year. I really just have not. If there was good left outside linebackers, I wouldn't still have my day one Von Miller on my team starting. Aaron Rodgers again. Decent card at best. When you compare a guy like Aaron Rodgers to a guy like Michael Vick, Michael Vick should only have speed and throw power and throw on the run. That should be it. And then Aaron Rodgers should have green everything else by a large margin. He really doesn't. like medium. My biggest thing with guys like Vick and guys like Lamar are their medium accuracy. I always I hate that their medium accuracy always sucks because I throw a lot of medium passes. And Aaron Rodgers is too better. So by paying for two extra medium accuracy to lose 12 plus speed, 
I'm gonna have to pass on that. I don't think he's the greatest. I think that the new Mahomes or new Lamar Jackson card is gonna be the one I'm going with. Guys, I didn't really for the video. What do you do right now? I think time. It's like a, it's a decent buying time. But I'm personally, I'm gonna wait for the Super Bowl content to drop first. Because I mean, not just because I want to wait to save coins. I genuinely didn't like the stuff that came out for the first drop. Besides Steve Young, so it's up to you guys on that. I think the present drop is gonna be a great time to buy. Gonna pick up a Tyreek, maybe Mahomes, whatever else they drop. Mitchell Schwartz. Really up to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this gave you guys some nice insights and thinking behind the market right now. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to come join the family. Next big goal is 20k. Let's get to it. Comment down below what you guys are doing right now with your coins. And make sure to go down below and like this video. Can we get this video to 300 likes? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.